If you are a creator who doesn't own a massive monitor on which to view your edit, keep watching and I'll show you how you can use your iPad as a second screen. For this video, I'm going to be using the 16 inch MacBook Pro as my primary screen and the iPad Pro as my secondary screen. You can also use any of the following devices to achieve the same effect. First things first, make sure you're signed in on both devices using the same Apple ID. Then make sure you're connected to the same Wi-Fi connection and that Bluetooth is turned on on both devices. You can also use a cable to connect the two devices. Go into settings and make sure that handoff is turned on. Turn off internet sharing on your Mac and make sure hotspot is turned off on the iPad. Go to displays under system preferences. If you're using Monterey, Click display settings and select the iPad in the sidebar. If you're using Big Sur or Catalina, choose system preferences and then sidecar. The hope is that everything goes smoothly and it connects right away. If that is not the case like it was for us, restart both devices. Turn handoff, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth off and on again. Airdrop a photo from the iPad to the Mac and try again. Don't ask why, but sometimes this solves the issue. Once the two devices are linked, simply drag a window from the first screen to the second one. In my case, I want the monitor to have the maximum space, so I'll move it to the iPad. This frees up space on the laptop for the rest of the edit window, which is super helpful if you have a really busy timeline and many layers and effects to work with. So there you have it, a second monitor to help make your workflow slightly smoother. I hope this was useful. Now go create something awesome.